On James to Thomas Bryant. Here's Walker, who played well his last time here, despite the Lakers losing. He went for 24 points. The scoring game on the road so far this season. So if you want to break down who on this Laker team can have a 20-point night, he's one of them. Schroeder is the other, and Thomas Bryant. So they have three guys out there that can give them numbers. Hayden working inside. They're showing no side effects. Over that ankle sprain that kept him sidelined for a couple of games. And with Thomas Bryant, and again, no, like what you consider a big shot blocker, the stage is set for DeAndre Ayton to have a big night for the Swans. Patrick Beverly hit a jumper, but it was like Christmas. He was like, he's talking up a storm. Now, he scored a double figure for just the first time this season recently. Yeah, look, and, and he'll get to the point where he's shooting better than what he has. Over the last few years, he's been a much better three-point shooter. Meanwhile, that guy has been really hot all season long. D. Lee, number two in the league in three-point shooting, just behind Luke Kennard. Little floater there from Pat Bev. As he's barking to Mikhail Bridges all day, every day. Interesting comment against an all-defensive team member. Aiden inside, tied up by the smaller defender, Walker. As we get into the third. Coach is in tonight's matchup. First team foul. With Coach Monty Williams, like so many coaches around the league. EJ dealing with a juggling lineup, different rotations, seemingly every other night as he's talking to Damian Lee and Darvin Ham. Got off to a, a really rough start, but he seems like he, he's had the same message for his team. Has brought some stability. I think some long-term picture. But again, when you're dealing with injuries and Anthony Davis, we've talked about and seen how well he had played up until the injury. Anthony Davis was playing like his hair was on fire. And their record, as a result, was trending upward.